We have been reporting for months on a new hovercraft that the town of Chitawaga has been really struggling to find a buyer for. Today, it looks like they finally found someone to purchase it from them, but it looks like the selling price will be for much less than what the town originally had paid for it. So on your sides, Dave McKinley has been covering this story for us and brings us this update. We'll be happy to see it go. The seeds of the inglorious tale of the Chictawaga hovercraft were sown prior to Diane Benchkowski's tenure as town supervisor. Purchased brand new by the town in 2011 for $70,000, it was thought it would be handy to clear debris from flooded streams. But the town soon learned the DEC would require the extra measure of installing ramps for its access to the water, the design and construction of which had to adhere to strict environmental regulations. But that would have cost us more than what they paid for the hovercraft. And so for most of the past seven years, it sat behind the town highway barn, during which time they tried to peddle it several times. First at a surplus auction in 2014, where the high bid of less than $11,000 wasn't to the town's liking, so it was kept. Then this past April, the town board approved its sale to a dealer in Illinois, willing to pay 20,000. And they never returned any phone calls so, or emails, so we don't know what happened to that company. It remains a mystery. It, it's a mystery, it got lost in the black hole somewhere. The town then made a renewed effort to sell it, hosting a demonstration at a town park in July. The highest offer, though, 10 grand. So they turned to the reach of the internet and an online auction through Cash Auction and Realty. Its website shows that between the start of the week-long sale on October 7th and when it ended on Sunday afternoon, there were 107 bids placed by 15 different bidders. As is not uncommon, it got fast and furious toward the end, with more than half of those bids placed in the final half hour, when the high bid roughly tripled from 5,500 to the eventual winning bid of 16,100. I think we got a great price for it. We tried other methods and that didn't materialize. Leading to the next step in this odyssey. I will be putting a resolution in for the town board's approval at Tuesday night's board meeting. And this would be the approval to go ahead, accept the bid, and off she goes. And, and off she goes. Off goes the hovercraft. And the town, she says, can turn its attention to more important matters, so. like her recently released budget proposal. Okay. And you didn't put gas for the hovercraft in the budget, so we're all good. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Thanks, Dave. So the town gets 16 grand, but the winning bidder will actually pay more than that. <clears throat> Excuse me. There was a 15% buyer's premium. You see, that's how the auctioneer gets paid. Plus sales tax, bringing the price to the winning bidder to just over $20,000. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.